I'm afraid of the bathroom and kitchen sink. Each time I want to wash my hands, I tremble in fear. What if they'll talk to me? This began after a vision in Western Reed Heights, near the crossing of Ebon Ward and Baker Streets. I saw a man, naked and covered in blood, in a room without doors or windows, surrounded by the dark holes of the pipes. He was cutting himself, piece by piece, feeding those copper mouths. They were whispering with voices so sweet and promising, but full of hunger and hatred. How could he believe them? Could he even escape? And had they noticed me? And here we are at the latest case called Voices from the Pipes. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me and hit that notification button as well. So you know when I upload my videos. Do I have enough to craft? Oh no, I don't! Oh, I hate this. I'm gonna use this. Come on. Should we get- should we go in here? Hello? I can't carry any more of that, but... Ooh. Oh, the door closed. Okay. And at least I got more ammo, right? Am I able to... Yay! I'm able to at least craft some more. Not too bad. I can't even carry any more of the other stuff, though. That sucks. Really? Ah! I'm scared! Woo! Okay. Okay. How bad is it? No, 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 no. I'm not gonna shoot you. I just... Something's going on in that that house. That's really freaking me out. Where are you? I need to stop. You know what? It has to be upstairs at this point, right? I don't like the sounds. I really don't. Okay, where are you guys coming from? I need to know. Ah! Okay, okay. Okay, come on. Okay, there you go. There you go, there you go. Oh, this is bad. Alright. First of all, let me... <laughs> let me do this quickly. Ooh, okay. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> we're good. Oh, what is that? Okay, so that thing died. Should we go in here still? Ugh! What the hell? Was a cop shooting me? Great, so not only do I have monsters trying to attack me, I have the cops too. I'm gonna try this. No, that doesn't work. I need this. I really don't understand why that cop was shooting me. That's just crazy. Why would a cop shoot me? Of all things, you know? Okay, that's good. Okay, perfect. That really blows. That cop was actually shooting me. And for what? What was the reason? 
Can I carry any more? I can't. That's cute. At this point, I shot one monster. I really doubt there's going to be any more. So let me explore quietly. Hopefully there won't be any other noises or disturbances here. I'm not going to lie. If this place was a little bit cleaner, I would definitely have gotten this place for sure. It's nice. Oh, sir, sir, chill. Do I really have to shoot you? I guess I do. Great, now I'm being possessed. Why did that slug come out of that cop? All right, all right, all right, relax, relax, relax. Come on, PI. Come on, get a hold of yourself. Get a hold of yourself. Come on. It was just out of self-defense. He shot you first. You were simply defending yourself. Remember that, okay? Come on. You're good. You're okay. You're good. Let's keep going. We gotta finish this case. What's next? Come on, P.I. Inventory. Let me see. I'll take that. I'll take that. No. Okay. Not bad. At least we're able to get as much as possible here. In terms of bullets. I just wish... Hold on. Maybe in terms of set trappers, hold on. Am I not able to increase my my carrying capacity? You know what? Whatever. Ah, oh, I could right here. Carry seven more pistol bullets. Yes, I would love that, and I don't have any more points, or do I? Alright, so now that I'm able to carry more pistols, does that change anything? No, it does not. Ooh, I'm able to carry 28, not bad. Well, I'm ready. Is there anything I can... Ooh, okay. Maybe in here. Is there anything I can interact in this area here? I don't see anything. Oh, I do, I do, I do. Where? Where? Okay. Oh, this is bad. E, we got Big Mama up here. Big Mama is coming. And let's do a trap. Right here. Do something. Thank you. Oh, you suck. I'm about to go downstairs. I really am. Okay, bye. Woo! That thing is horrible. I do not want that thing to come down here. But you know what? I don't think we even have a choice for that matter. Okay, okay. Is it dead? Please tell me it's dead. Oh, that's so horrible. Ooh. Okay, we, we, we're good. We're good. That thing died. That thing died, right? Yeah, that thing is gone. We did it! Yay! I'm... What is that? Oh man, this is gonna be the longest. Why is there so many? Why is there so many? Do I need to like shoot? I really need more bullets. 
I'm just gonna go upstairs. Or downstairs? I just wanted to get the note. So I have a good feeling it's upstairs. I do not like the sound of it at all. This is creeping me out. Let me get some stuff here. All right, is there more? Maybe if I'm really quiet, that thing will leave me alone. We we think. Okay, okay. At least I have a lot of ammo. That's good. Right here. This is horrendous. I thought it was safe. Like... Oh, it's really upstairs. Okay. Is there... I have to go upstairs, huh? Clear water? You know, I'm just gonna see if I can go downstairs to the second floor. Where is it? I just need the note. Okay. This is from SM. Oh, Mr. Bigley, the pipes. The pipes are calling. I think you will recall that I have expressed concern about the drains in my bathroom numerous times over the last month. Obviously, rattles, clunks, and gurgles are of no concern to you, as you are yet to make a single visit despite your assurances. But what about the voices, Mr. Bigley? Would they be enough to get your wrench in hand? Well, it's too late. No amount of tinkering or not tightening can take back the offer they've made. How can I refuse? They say all I have to do is come down and join them. They've shown me a way. I don't like or understand it, but they say they've done it before many times. I just need a sharp knife. I will join them piece by piece. And when I'm all gone up here, I will be whole again down there. Whole and glorious. I am nervous, but they have assured me that said you assured me too. No, I have no choice. They have offered immortality, ecstasy, and secrets unbound. But best of all, Mr. Bigley, the pipes are silent down there. I have been assured. That is so sad. This man was driven to the point of exam. It, the point of insanity and he basically chopped himself into pieces and that's how he died in this very house I can't help but turn around at any noise after what I saw yesterday I walked down the Murdoch Avenue in Western Avent and near Oak Street I was hit with an excruciating migraine my nose startled to bleed and the visions came I saw one man writing a letter and another about to strike him from behind. Somehow, I was both the spectator and the sitting man. But no matter how I cried, no matter how I cried out warnings or tried to move, it didn't work. It seems I lost consciousness when the killer hit the man's head. And it took me several hours to get back to the hotel after. Welcome to the second case. From behind. Oh, I haven't even gone through the doorway. And already I am hearing a lot of commotion. 
this tribulation is high. Very high. Ooh! You! No! No! Get back! Ooh, ooh, okay. Come on! Come on! Okay. First of all, this disgusting creature had the audacity to... Oh, another one. Ooh, okay. Come on. Are you dead? Alright, that thing's dead. Is there another one? I love how I'm just shooting all these monsters and no one has bothered to check to see what's up. That thing really does look like... Oh, now people are running away. Okay. Nice. The fact that they were waiting for me. They were waiting for me in the doorway. The audacity. They are getting pretty brave. I'm not gonna lie. Basement? Ooh. Okay. Am I enjoying the music? No, it's creepy. Yes, please. Three bullets. That sucks. One firebomb. That sucks. I didn't really get that much stuff. Come on, please. Give me something. Oh, come on. Really? This sucks. So that's the basement. It doesn't look too bad. The bed's pretty clean. What's that noise? Oh, okay, so... This is a very clean bathroom. I enjoy this very much. Ugh, they really need to clean the table, though, but at least this place is... in way better shape than most stuff I've been seeing. Second floor? Should we? I'm gonna try this. Ooh, thank you so much. I really needed this. Because this is... This is not... Oh, come on. Are you serious? Why are you not giving me as much as I need? That's what I want to know. Like, what's up with that? I feel like I've been here before. Kinda. Don't tell me it's one of those games where they use the same layout over and over again, because that's stupid. Alright, so the thing's right there. Should I just grab it and go? Because I definitely want to explore some more. I'm curious. Ooh! Yes, I'll take some more. I need as many... Many... Supplies as much as possible. The more, the merrier. That's my philosophy. Can I grab some more? Can I grab some more? Ugh, so corny. I don't even have enough rags. Should I go in here? The door won't budge. Maybe there's a reason why the door can't open. We're not meant to be in there. So that's like the game's way of saying... Mind your business. I want to explore the basement. I feel like maybe we can get something down here. Wish me luck. Okay, it's a nice little quiet, big basement. Nothing crazy here. What the hell was that? You hear that, right? You know, maybe it's the pipes just creaking just because they're old. You know how it is. Sometimes when the house is a little bit too old, there's lots of noises and stuff because the foundation is just, you know, moving, settling, you know? 
All right, this is from RV. My dear Clara, it has been years since we last saw each other, and I still can't sleep without looking at the picture you sent me of your family. I wish I had something to show, but pictures of this place would only bring you nightmares. What was I thinking when I left our hometown? I fear that I might be losing my sanity. I mean, sir, everyone is losing their sanity in this game, so that's not a surprise. You remember Dumont, my neighbor that works at the docks? I mentioned him in the, the previous letters. He was always a good friend, but I don't know what happened. He started screaming in the middle of the night, chanting about lost cities and saying strange words. I was never a religious man, but I don't know how to explain his condition through science. Easy, he's tweaking. I see strange things each time I look out the window, and I don't know if they are really there, or if it's just my mind playing with the mist. Somehow, the mad words of my friend start to make more sense each time I look at those wild and incomprehensible shapes. I'll return home as soon as I have enough money to do so. I hope to survive all this. Your beloved brother, Victor. Yeah, he's dead. I think we killed... You know what? Let me leave, let me leave, let me leave, let me leave, let me leave. What the hell was that? What the hell? Why was this man chasing me? Are you Victor? Did we just kill Victor? Sir. We left your house. And you went outside to chase us. I'm sorry, but... I had to defend myself. Great, another one? Ooh. Good news, I didn't have to repeat that mission because even though I died, I actually got the notes. That's the important part. Now onto the last case. After this vision, I shake in fear at the sound of a child's cry. It happened in Western Reed Heights on Washington Street. I passed E. Bond Street and was heading towards Oak Street, but saw it. Okay, so clearly some parent is not attending to their kid. DCF time, for sure. The thing was running so fast, I didn't even understand what it was. It jumped from the window, and the vision struck me immediately. I saw a man, a doctor, hiding in the room. He was writing something with a shaking hand. Something like a last will. And then I saw the thing stalking him. A fetus on thin, pointy legs with a little face full of evil and hatred. It's shrieking. I can't forget it. The terrible fetus. Don't do it, sir. I've suffered enough already. Sir, you're not the one going in here. So we got the case of the terrible fetus in this establishment. So this was a hospital of some sort. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, this was a hospital. So was this some sort of an abortion clinic? Is that why this place is being haunted? Oh, look at the backyard. How... How lonely. And quiet. It's like... A place to just gather your thoughts and just collect yourself. This door is not able to budge. And this is the outside. Hmm. All right. I'm ready. Oh, no. Is this the handprints of the fetus? I'm going to have to kill a monster baby, huh? Am I looking forward to it? No, I'm not. Oh, you know, usually 
I would hear a noise right about now, but the fact that it's dead quiet, that's actually just as bad, if not worse. Oh, you got to be kidding me. So the dead fetus is able to uh, crawl on the wall. And it's in the third floor. Nice. Okay. I'm getting as much bullets as I can because I know I'm going to need it. I'm going to cry, but I know I'm going to need it. Okay, nice little outside view. How cute. What a view. Just to take a breather in between abortions, I guess. I don't know. I just... This place is giving me very bad juju. Oh my gosh. The Phidias is able to crawl on the walls. This is it. Let me just put on my... Come on. There you go. You know, I gotta I got make sure my med kit is on point, you know? Unbelievable. Okay, so... Fingers crossed that maybe the fetus is long dead and we don't have to deal with it? Yeah? So this must be the nurse's station, doctor's station. Ooh, okay. Ah! The windows are barred up. Showers without will to no privacy. And the dead body is still there. Is the fetus in the room with us? I need some supplies, please. Okay. I am pretty happy I have a lot of bullets. I'm not gonna lie, it, it comforts me. I just don't like how this fetus is able to climb on walls. And the body. Mm. Okay. Let me continue to explore. No, that's it. That is really it. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. CW. My dearest comfort, if my scroll is an illegible scribble, forgive me. The shock of what I have delivered from the poor young woman's womb has affected my nerves. Her guttural screams still ring in my ears. And her birth tragedy lurks near where I hide. Had my tenant not been attacked first, I would have certainly shared her fate. So this is the body that we're looking at. Possibly the nurse or the mom. Got you. The wriggling abomination that erupted from the Wafi's belly leaped from her body and attached itself to the nurse's throat with a wet smacking sound. Pulled behind it, the taunt umbilical cord tore out the placenta in an eruption of bright blood that soaked my gown. Stunned, I looked into the mother's bulging eyes as she convulsed and bit off her tongue between clenched, grinding teeth. Falling backward in horror, I crawled behind a medical cabinet in the operating theater. I can now hear the sloshing movement of the afterbirth sliding across the floor as the terrible infant silently approaches. I write this account on my surgical mask with the sturdy pen you gifted me last year near the Oakmont Commons. May it now serve faithfully as my only weapon against a deformed babe. Sincere thanks, Sebastian. Let me fucking leave. Sorry for the profanity. I just can't deal with this place anymore. I need to leave. Okay. Yep, that's it. We did it. Woo! Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.